mobile home park off Pacific Avenue, and now it is the scene of a deadly crime. The deputies were escorted to the hospital, all of that action shutting down area roads for hours. Deputy Dom Collada remains critical tonight, and those close to him are calling his condition grave. Meantime, we're learning more now about the convicted felon who deputies were there to arrest. 40-year-old Jeremy Dayton shot and killed on site. He had a lengthy criminal record. Fox 13's Alejandra Guzman takes a closer look tonight. Unfortunately, we've gotten good at this, and that's a sad, sad thing to say, that we've gotten good at taking care of officer deaths. A tragedy the Pierce County Sheriff's Office is bracing themselves for as a 35-year-old husband, father, and deputy fights for his life. He is a big-hearted, great guy, got in his job for the right reasons. Everybody's praying for a miracle. Pierce County Sheriff Ed Troyer remains optimistic tonight, but emotionally, he says, this pains him. Two of his deputies were shot today. Since his time at the department, at least a dozen deputies have been shot or killed in the line of duty. We don't want to correlate what happened today or take away from what happened today, but as everybody knows, crime is running rapid and we have a shooting every day. Sheriff Troyer, like many, is worried about the current issues the community is facing. But as he and the rest of the department lend a shoulder to the deputies' families and children, they're focused on the man who threatened deputies' lives. Find out why was somebody out that has this violent streak in him. 40-year-old Jeremy Dayton is the alleged shooter. According to Washington State Patrol, he's got a long rap sheet. I think he had this in his plan because uh, what kind of man wants to live behind the bars in prison for life when you know you're gonna get life anyways. Stacy Dayton is married to the man accused of getting out of his car and shooting at deputies while they tried to serve a warrant. Now there's two officers involved that are shot and hurt over this situation because we're actively searching for him because his stupid freaking mistakes that he made. Today, SWAT officer showed up at his home after he failed to appear in court for an assault case. Court documents say Jeremy beat up a man in his 60s outside a restaurant on February of 2021. A witness said he hit the man with the closed fist repeatedly, even after the man was unconscious on the ground. Medical staff said he suffered brain bleeding and a right cheek fracture. He changed. He became somebody that I didn't even recognize. And he used to be such a good person, and I know it's because of drugs. Her husband's criminal history dates back to 1994 when he was just a teen. He's since tallied up nine felony charges and five misdemeanors, including unlawful possession of a firearm, assault, domestic violence, robbery, and drug charges. I warned him. I begged him, please don't have any weapons on you, and please don't use any drugs, and just be smart and turn yourself in, but he wouldn't listen to me. He wouldn't listen to his daughter. We both begged him. Stacy says her thoughts and prayers are with the officer's families. He wasn't supposed to be drinking. He wasn't supposed to have firearms. He wasn't supposed to be in a bar, and he wasn't supposed to be doing drugs. I am distraught. I'm having mixed emotions. I'm more concerned with the police officers than I am about him. As officer Dom Collada and Rich Scaniff remain hospitalized, a major question lingers. What's going to stop it? We don't know. But Alejandro Usman, Fox 13 News. Again, Deputy Collada, in very grave condition tonight, has a wife and a four-year-old child. Our thoughts are certainly with the entire sheriff's department, who is completely rattled by all this, and especially with his family. We're going to continue to follow the very latest for you overnight. As the situation develops, you can also tune in to fox13seattle.com. We've got complete coverage on there as well. Yeah, our hearts definitely go out to the deputies, their families, their friends, their co-workers tonight, yeah, definitely. The prayers are needed.